Pirates were a hot topic in all times. The stories about pirates were the best fairy tales of anyone's childhood. So in today's video, we will talk about the real pirates of Caribbean. The era of piracy in the Caribbean begins in 15th century and died out in the 1830s. But the 16th century to 1730s were the era when the pirates were on their peak. There were many famous pirates who ruled the Caribbean Sea with their courage and brutality. We are going to tell you about some of them. Our first pirate is Blackbeard. He was born about 1680s in England as Edward Thatch. Later on, he operated the East Coast from the North America. He started pirating in the Bahamas Hara Base in North Carolina with his 200-ton ship with a 40-gun frigate. He named his ship Queen Anna's Revenge. In the last, like every other pirate, he got executed by a British Royal Navy squadron. According to the legends, Blackbeard suffered a total of 5 bullet wounds and 20 slashes for the cutlass before he finally died. Bertolo Roberts was one of the most successful pirates of his era. He was also known with the name Black Bart. He successfully sunk and captured around 400 ships. He was a pirate of laws. In his three powerful armed ships known as Fortune, Good Fortune and Royal Fortune, he gave the right to vote to every single person who boarded his ships on the issues arose during sale. In short, he was a democratic pirate. He was one of the most famous pirates, especially in Gulf of Guiana. Then he returned to Africa in 1722, where he met his death in a naval battle. Another interesting pirate was Steed Bonnet, probably the least qualified pirate captain ever to sail to Caribbean. He was a sugarcane planter who knew nothing about sailing. He started his piracy in 1717 by buying an armed ship on Barbados. He lost his command to Blackbeard and sailed with him as associate. He captured in 1718 by a private hiring vessel. In the history of pirates, Edward Lowe known for his brutalness and he was the most vicious pirate. People call him with another name Natlaw and he was also remembered as the most notorious pirate of all time. Talking about his viciousness, he captured over 100 ships in his not so long 3 years career. He and his crew were so brutal that they have tortured and murdered hundreds of people during pirating. But unlike other pirates, he was mutinied by his own crew and got rescued and hung by a French vessels at Montague Island in 1724. Talking about pirates cannot be completed if we will not talk about the most tempting female pirates. Anybody and Mary Reed were the two famous female pirates of all time. They have their brief sea rowing careers under the command of Carco Jack Racken. People say they have also associated with the other famous pirate named Blackbeard, William Kidd and Protolo Robas, but they have chiefly noted for their sex which is highly unusual for pirates, which also helped them to sensationalize their 1720 October trial in Jamaica when the judge sentenced them death. And they have declared pregnancy and judge immediately postponed their death because according to the British law, no court has an authority to kill an unborn child. I'm not sure whether they have faked their pregnancy or it was true, but unlike every other pirate, they have successfully snitched their life from the hands of death. Moving ahead, Robert Cotrissi, better known as El Pirata Cotrissi, he decided to become a pirate in 1818. He commanded several assaults against cargo vessels, but their main target was smuggling gold. After being imprisoned, he was sent to San Juan, Puerto Rico where a brief military trial found him guilty and he got executed by a fighting squad in 1825. Talking about modern century pirates, John Boyce Singh is the first name who is known as the Raja, was born on 5th April 1908 in Woodbrook, Trinidad. He had a long successful career as a gangster and gambler before he turned to piracy. From 1947 until 1956, he and his crew terrorized the water between Trinidad and Venezuela. They were responsible for around 400 killings they used to promise ferry people from Trinidad to Venezuela. But in route, they robbed, killed and dumped them into sea. Every pirate's history began with a disaster and end up in the same manner. Good or bad, they are a part of a history. And we cannot deny the fact that they were very famous amongst the common people, maybe because of their fairy tales or maybe because of their realm in her nature. Let's see what comes in the next Pirate of the Caribbean, Deadman Tells No Tales. I'm sure you're gonna watch this movie and so am I. 
a small request to all my viewers to keep liking and sharing our videos to appreciate and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.